welcome to the fourth part of mrp topic so so far in the previous three videos that we have seen this topic mrp that was basically common between mm module and pp module but from mrp point of view pp module is basically bigger so that means in pp module mrp topics topics is much bigger as compared to the mm topic so with regards to this one uh, we'll be continuing with the, uh, this video part 4 and there will be another video part 5 which is uh, mrp but that's more specific to the pp module so let us start this topic so in today's class the topics that we're going to discuss today they are safety stock safety stock partially av available dynamic safety stock and safety time and also period profile for the safety stock now first of all we'll start with the safety stock now in the previous lectures we already discussed about this topic safety stock so what safety stock is so basically we maintain the safety stock in the mrp uh, 2 view of the material master record and the purpose of the safety stock is basically to uh, have some stock in hand just in case there is some emergency or there is some unexpected requirements so again just to refresh your memory if i show you go to mm02 say this material and when you go to the mrp2 tab here you can enter safety stock so safety stock can be 1000 pieces and all that so system will always keep some stock as a safety just for emergency or any unexpected requirements so this way you can maintain the safety stock we already discussed before and we're not going to uh, discuss in more details again and the main point you need to note here is that safety stock reduces the stock available av available for the planning that means suppose i got say abc material and today as of now say stock is say 1000 pieces if i say if i add at the moment if i add safety stock of say 900 pieces then what will be the stock left stock will be showing you 100 pieces only because the safety stock that you enter will consume the stock we have in the warehouse so that's the point you need to note always here you can see the safety stock reduces the stock available for the planning so it will in other words safety stock will eat the stock we have in the warehouse so that's all about safety stock now we'll continue with safety stock partially available now what does it mean partially available that means we want the system to use partial quantity of the safety stock that we have now when we need it let's take example okay so say the same material we have um same material we have and uh just say 100 we have stock as of today is 100 and safety stock we have is say um 90 for example that means net stock will be net stock will be 100 minus 90 10 right now suppose we got some requirements we got a sales order something and we got the requirements that we need 20 pieces of stock or just say uh, 12 pieces of stock but when system will check here it will say okay i got 10 pieces in the stock but the requirement is or you can say sales order but the sales order we have is for 12 pieces that means two pieces is extra so what in in general what system will do system will be running mrp and will be creating a plan order for the quantity that is missing that means in this case 
planned order will be created for only two pieces right so this requirement can be two pieces this requirement can be one piece this requirement can be five pieces as well now in real time world it's, it doesn't make a sense to go and procure for one piece to go and manufacture one piece okay where we're talking about the mass manufacturing the bulk manufacturing now it doesn't make a sense that we should be uh, doing the production for only one piece or two piece just a two piece in this case so in this case what we can do is we can customize a system and we can say okay in such cases system sh can use the safety stock that means whatever safety stock is uh, reserved like 90 pieces system should allow to use two pieces that that means we do not want to do the production for two pieces instead system should allow to eat the safety stock so in this case what will happen system will not create a planned order however it will deliver 12 pieces straight away but the safety stock will become 88 instead of 90 okay but so same way but system will replenish the safety so again the same scenario will come system may eat five pieces one pieces like that and we can say that okay system should be eating only 50 percent of safety stock or system should be eating only we can allow we can allow in the customizing system system should eat 20 percent only 30 percent only 50 percent only depending on what business want so we do not need to decide business, business will decide but we can tell the system that okay 50 percent should be consumed that means next time another short requirement will come it will consume the safety stock so we keep consuming but whenever there is a bigger requirement so tomorrow we got a requirement say another new requirement new sales order for 100 pieces so whatever is required whatever required quantity we need it for 100 pieces in that time system will be doing the production or procurement whatever but system will also uh, add up this safety stock that means it will replenish the safety stock as well as the for the new sales order quantity will be created for example for the new sales order quantity we require 50 extra pieces or just say we need this zero in the stock and we need 100 pieces exactly so as of at this stage say safety stock eaten i will say safety stock eaten was so far say uh, out of 90 we eat 30 pieces so we left with 60 so system will or not only creating the planned order for 100 pieces for this one but whatever is missing here so 60 is there should be 90 so 30 pieces are missing so system will be creating a planned order for 100 for the sales order plus 30 to replenish the safety stock and it will be 130 pieces so that's how the stock will be replenished again in the next cycle whenever there is a short requirement for one two pieces system will keep consuming the safety stock okay but when there is a big requirement system will not be consuming it so we can allow that okay up to 50 percent system can eat so that means if i say 50 percent that means if we receive a sales order up to 45 pieces system will consume this one if we say receive a sales order for 46 pieces or above then system will be generating the new planned orders so that's how it works so i show you where the customizing is for the safety stock so in the previous slide here you can see if you try to understand this slide for the safety stock slide the previous topic slide you can see whatever the safety stock you have it will never be consumed you can see it will whenever uh, the the green color is the requirement the yellow color is the receipt so for every requirement there will be a new receipt for every requirement there will be a new receipt or a new planned order but this stock is not consumed however in the case of partially available stock system can consume so whatever the safety stock you have it can be consumed if it is within the uh, portion of the safety stock available for the planning or whatever percentage you have defined so at the bottom of the screen i have mentioned the the menu path for the um, customizing so or you can search for define safety stock availability so if i go to spro 